Step number four of the caregiving success plan is develop your passion and your purpose beyond caregiving. So very important because you're never going to get this time back. You're in the journey. It's so important that you live your own life as fully as possible while you're a caregiver. I know it's hard. You can still be all in for your loved one, but it's so important to take time for yourself. One of my mantras that I love to share, and it's a chapter in my book, The Accidental Caregiver Survival Guide, is put chocolate in your pillbox. And the reason I use this as a mantra is when you're a caregiver, and those of you who've been, you know, if you're currently in the caregiving role, you're well familiar with pillboxes. I was filling two of them for a while. I used to do them in my career for the people with disabilities I supported. Um, we administer medication. We didn't fill pillboxes, but we administered it at the time of dosage. But for my parents, I would lay them out in advance and make sure. My, I seem like I was forever dealing with medication. The reason I, I like to say dose yourself regularly with joy, think of the pillbox as your calendar. And I'm a chocoholic, so chocolate brings me great joy. <laughs> so think of the chocolate as an activity in your calendar that brings you joy. So very important. And this leads to that number one burnout busting strategy that I talked about. It comes right from put chocolate in your pillbox, which is put at least one fun, feel-good activity in your calendar or planner each week make you a priority. You really deserve it. I'm going to come back on camera again. I just, you know, I just want to say it's so important. Our calendars get filled with all those have tos, the medical appointments, um, the, you know, the other appointments and chores we must do. If you have some home health folks coming in, um, you know, you got to mark all those. The calendar gets filled with all of these have tos. Um, it must. And we, if our calendar week after week, month after month, does not have anything that's fun in it, what do we have to look forward to? So critical. We're in the summer now. We're listening to this the summer. I hope if you're in the role of a caregiver, you have something planned that's fun for yourself this summer. You deserve it. Give yourself a break. Put something fun in your calendar and find an accountability partner or others who will help you do it. I know one of the things when it was, this was probably one of the hardest things that I've done and other caregivers have done when we're so in to our loved one's needs. Um, and when we do engage in activities out of our caregiving responsibilities, I brought this up earlier, it's easy to feel guilt. You know, I used to feel guilt sometimes when I did finally take time for me and go out and actually have a good time or go for a weekend retreat. I used to take these weekend retreats for life coach training that I did um, in 2010 and 2011. And initially I felt some guilt from, from doing that, even though I, my mom actually, we, I found great people, other family members and friends would step in and do shifts with her. They tended to all be female. So she kind of had girls weekends <laughs> when I would go away. So she was well cared for and I was just a phone call away if help was needed, and I would check in. But I initially would feel guilt for taking time for me, even though she was well cared for. That's a natural thing, but it's so important to stay energized. And if I had not taken that time for myself, and my mom did support that, um, I would not be living a full life now. I wouldn't have set myself up for the passion beyond my direct caregiving role. You know, I now fit, you remember Rosalind Carter's quotation that I said at the beginning? I'm now one of those that has served as a caregiver. I'm no longer currently serving as a caregiver. But I do believe the reason my life is so full is I did things at the end of, you know, in the latter half of my caregiving journey to put me as a higher priority on the agenda. And my clients and others that I have the privilege to work with, I encourage them to do the same and shed the kilt. Practical caregiving resources are waiting for you at caregivingwithoutregret.com.